what's up? How's it going? I'm in a parking lot right now, and if you're wondering why the quality's better, it's because I'm using a real camera. So if you see me like glancing around, it's just because I'm keeping an eye out for everyone that could be watching me. But at this point, honestly, I don't even care. I'm getting better, all right? I'm getting better about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That guy needs to get his brakes done. So I'm drinking a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I usually get an iced macchiato with almond milk, but they messed it up and just gave me an iced coffee with almond milk. And honestly, it's, it's not good. It's really not good. And I know that Dunkin' Donuts has like pretty bad coffee like all around. Like I keep seeing TikToks of people being like, oh my God, go to Dunkin', order the same drink every time and it tastes different every single time. And like, I experienced that as well with the ice macchiato. Like sometimes it's so good. Like sometimes it's so good, but a lot of the times it's like not that good, but I keep going back for more for like, that one-off time that it's like pretty good. I know that I could get like a more consistent coffee somewhere else, but like honestly, they keep me coming back for more. But like this specifically, cause they got it wrong all together. I'm like, um. Anywho, you know, we just be out here, we're living. Um, also wait, no, I'm not, I'm not changing the topic yet. I'm not ready. Dunkin' Donuts also has like a ghost pepper donut right now. And it's not spicy like at all. There's no spice to it. So it's not, it's not even a ghost pepper donut. So I think like all in all, Dunkin' Donuts could do better and they refuse to, but like regardless, I'm gonna keep going back for more. So like, what does that say about me? What does that, what does that say about me? Not much. I just like a routine, okay? I'm very routine driven. So I'm used to ordering from Dunkin'. I know that sometimes it can be a really good coffee. Um, so don't come for me, basically. But like, let me know. If anyone has a Dunkin' Donuts in the area near them, do they enjoy it? Like, do you actually enjoy the coffee that you get there? Have you ever been to a consistent Dunkin' Donuts? I don't think that exists. But yeah. So I'm like sitting out in front of a Target right now. Um, Will I go in? Who's to say? Um, I haven't decided yet. I haven't really like been spending much money lately because, um, you know, Miss Roni is here and present, but yeah. I've been having an overwhelming urge lately just to like buy things. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just like compensating. To, like give me like a little bit of a rush. Like give me some serotonin, please. But yeah, I don't necessarily need anything. I don't know why I took the label off, but I just want to, right? I feel like this person's about to. I'm gonna move this. I think someone's about to walk up. So I'm gonna move it and put it down there. In hindsight, I probably could have left that there because they walked right by and didn't even pay attention to me. Nobody cares. Why do I care? I don't care. I do care. I've been looking ghostly lately. Like I know that it's winter and because of that, I'm not supposed to be tan. I just want to be tan. Or at least like look less translucent, you know? But I'm not gonna do like fake tanner. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it looks pretty artificial. I'm just saying that everybody looks better in the summer. So, you know, I'm just, I wanna feel, I wanna feel golden, bright golden. Oh my God, I, I was in a huge kick like two weeks ago, I would say. I was so close to dyeing my hair. Like imagine me blonde. I can't. But like, I just wanna look like a different person for a day, like just for a little bit. But the reason I didn't end up going through with it was because, um, well, usually I'm very indecisive, but if I actually do make a decision, I typically like immediately regret it. And I just know for a fact that if I dyed my hair blonde and if it didn't come out like amazing, or like if I saw it for the first time and immediately hated it, like I would fixate on it so, so much that I would just literally spiral. Like for my own mental health, I think it's for the best that I stay a brunette, but I, I would love to look like a different person. Just like for fun, just for fun. I have nothing, I have like no qualms with the way that I look. It's just, I think it would be really fun to just like play a, play a role, all right? I guess I could wear a wig, but that kind of grosses me out for my own personal issues. <laughs> I think I have like a really weird phobia. Um, so I don't wear any jewelry at all. 
and I will never wear any jewelry. And the reason is because body oil grosses me out so, so much that, like for example, if you were wearing earrings and you took them out and you put them on the table and you went upstairs or something and you were like, oh, Julie, can you grab my earrings and bring them to me? I would not touch them. I'd be like, sorry, that's fucking gross. Um, I'm not gonna touch the earrings that you just had like on your person for an extended period of time. Like nobody washes their jewelry, I feel. Like you can, I know that you can and people just don't do it nearly as often as they should. Like that shit builds up. Ew, ew. But yeah, so <laughs> where was I even going with this? Was that related to anything? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I, I have like a weird phobia when it comes to like body oils. Oh, the wig. So for that purpose, like the wig kind of is like related to that. Like it grosses me out. Yeah. Does anyone else have that? Like a body oil phobia? Like can you touch other people's jewelry? Because I literally cannot. So I have no piercings for fun. I know that they look cool. Like I objectively, I think that rings like look super fun and cool. I think you look edgy. I think you look like more put together. I wish that I had rings just because I think it would make me look cooler, but like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to touch them or even have them on me if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I mean, this is growing on me, but I know that it could be better, right? Why do I do this to myself? Is this Stockholm syndrome? Is this Stockholm syndrome? If I know that if I get a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, it will probably be bad but I can't stop. I think, I think I Stockholm syndromed myself. Um, I don't like this angle. It's like not very flattering, but there's not much else that I can do. Like being sneaky. What if I did this? What if I did that? Push the hair back? I don't know. See, like I wanna look like a different person just for fun. Just for, I feel like if I was blonde, if I was blonde, I feel like I would level up. Not gonna lie. Like, I really do feel like blondes have more fun. I think I would blossom. <laughs> Fuck it, what am I saying? I still wanna do it, like I still wanna do it, but I'm worried that I it would make me spiral if it came out bad. And for those of you who are like, oh, you can't pull off blonde. I mean, that's valid, that's a valid opinion, but I was actually blonde as a child. I didn't dye my hair, just naturally like turned this, um, this color, but I had a little blonde curly head as a child. And you know what, maybe I'm trying to bring back those, bring back those five-year-old vibes, right? We love a good toddler. I just realized, I just realized how bad that sounded and I don't want to be arrested. I don't know, should I do it? Do I dye my hair blonde? I don't know, like I want to. I, like I said, I want to level up. I want to have more fun. Okay. I think, I think I'm done with this now. I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna head out. But it was nice chatting. It was nice having a crisis just for fun. Um, do I have an eye boogie? Let me know. No, I, th I think I'm all set. But, you know, stay safe, guys. Um, okay, bye.